The world of Warcraft is a land of many histories and stories across time. From the conflicts between orcs and humans, to the night elven empires of old, Azeroth has seen the rise and fall of countless civilizations. But one of these stories stands out as more monumental than the rest. The Titans. These gods visited Azeroth long ago in order to safeguard the slumbering world soul that dwells deep beneath the earth, and created strongholds and vaults populated by their servants, the Titan Forged. Throughout the eons, the Titans and many of their pawns have faded into legend, but some of their structures still exist today, relics of a forgotten time. Today, we're going to be taking a look at one of the great unifying structures of these ruins, the Path of the Titans in Northrend. Not only is this one of the largest roads in the entire game, it also just looks really cool and has a lot of hidden details I'm going to be uncovering today. As always, thank you for your fun comments and support, and with all that being said, let's get right into it. On your journey throughout Wrath of the Lich King, you might first encounter the Path of the Titans in Dragon Blight, the frigid graveyard of Dragonkind. The road cuts the zone nearly in half, running north to south through the snowy landscape. It is here where the path intersects with Wormrest Temple. This is the meeting place of the ancient Dragonflight, five groups of magical dragons tasked with protecting Azeroth. While most players spend time here helping the dragons fight the Undead Scourge or the rogue Blue Dragons, they may overlook the architecture of this spire, which gives us a clue as to the union between the dragons and their patron deities, the Titans. Before we head north, let's check out the southern coast of Dragonblight. Here, the path begins to segment as it juts out into the frozen sea. It goes without saying, the path is tens of thousands of years old, meaning it has existed here since before the breaking of the world that created many of the seas found on Azeroth. This explains the state of disrepair we find our road in, especially along this coast. This area also holds a massive, not-so-secret secret, the skeleton of a giant creature. I made a video about this over a year ago, so if you want to take a trip into my YouTube past, feel free to check that video out as well. North of Wormrest Temple, the road is overall much more complete on the way out of Dragonblight, and the side pillars of the path are especially noticeable here. A decorative feature, or perhaps they once held some sort of awning or canopy above. Coming up over a rise, the path passes by a domed overlook before extending out like a bridge over the Crystal Song Forest. The trail disappears here, except for a single titan pillar in the valley far below, meaning that much of the path that once spanned this zone has been shattered. Perhaps the sundering caused the bridge to collapse, but the more likely case is that it was a casualty of the massive explosion during the war between blue dragons and ambitious highborn mages here 6,000 years ago. Our route resumes farther north, at the very bottom of the towering Storm Peaks. Here, the elevation mandated some impressive feats of architecture from the Titan Forged, including these raised sections of road that are taller than entire buildings, and this mysterious entrance near the mountain of Stormcrest that has a matching exit on the other side. While it's a small detail, this really reminds me of the Dwarven Mountain Passes from Classic WoW giving us a parallel between the titan-forged dwarves and the mortal ones they would one day become. Trekking into the mountains, the path can be followed all the way to the edge of the zone, but you'll definitely want a flying mount to navigate the peaks. The road wends its way around the Engine of the Makers, an important piece of titan machinery, before traversing a final ridge and dropping down onto the Terrace of the Makers, the outskirts of the legendary Titan Forge city of Ulduar. Those who have made the adventure this far will encounter one final obstacle, a large ravine that now separates Ulduar from the rest of the Storm Peaks. And it seems our path of the Titans comes to an end. We can attribute this obstacle to the passage of time 
or the Sundering, but part of me thinks that the old god Yog saron or his puppet Loken, may have intentionally collapsed the bridges leading into Ulduar to defend it from the Titan Forged who had stayed true to their purpose. While this is most of the Path of the Titans players are able to visit in game, there is one other section we haven't discussed yet. Far to the south, well into the frozen sea, past that giant skeleton we saw earlier, is the Strand of the Ancients, a long abandoned island holding titan relics of great power. In Wrath of the Lich King Classic, players can visit these sandy shoals to battle against the opposing faction, who are trying to wrest control of the secrets held there. The detail we're most concerned with today, however, can be found on the western shores, where, stretching far out toward the horizon, more of the Path of the Titans can be seen. These chunks somehow surviving the destruction of the old world thousands of years ago. It seems obvious that the path is connected to the relic vault somehow, but its placement off to the side indicates it may have once continued further south towards some unknown location. With clues to the Titan Forged being prevalent throughout much of Northrend, it's also interesting to think about what other roads or tunnels could have once existed on this continent, but have since been lost to time. In between the Borean Tundra and Sholazar Basin, I found these inconspicuous looking pillars that look a lot like the ones from earlier. But hey, maybe that's a theory for another time. Thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, may the Force be with you.